The Countryside Alliance has criticised a decision by Enfield Borough Council to, wait for it, cancel meat from the menu of all of its events. Some people are saying, oh, it's not really a big deal, is it? But it's, as you said, it's where does it end? And what next? How many other councils are going to try and stand up and say, oh, well, look what we can do? And what, at what point does it then become schools, Mills on Wheels services? Uh, and it's sending, you know, completely the wrong message to our hardworking farmers in this country who work day in mm. and day out to produce some of the best meat uh, that's incredibly sustainable. What happens to our civil liberties? What about the, the, the vast bulk of this country that are meat eaters? They should be forced to eat a mung bean salad. Your colleague is from the Countryside Alliance. Mm. I mean, I think it's about time they actually understood what we're at stake here. No pun intended. The if look in Australia already, state something that, that the Enfield Council don't want to serve up. The, if the countryside alliance is serious about protecting Britain's countryside, they have to recognise we have to take our action on the climate emissions. Yeah, we of are. The United Kingdom. We are though. It's a lifestyle choice. You are denying uh, local residents, taxpayers who do not expect their local authority to police what they eat. They want them to get on with delivering serious They're local not. services. They're They're they not. do. That's They're what they want. That is what taxpayers want. They don't expect to be totally made to feel guilty for enjoying a sausage roll. That's not necessary. That's not why they, that's not why they pay council tax. Yes, and going back to your point. 99% of their meals will, can be still made. All they're saying is if you happen to be one of the people who attends a council event once or twice a year, you'll be served vegetarian and vegan sandwiches. What is the problem with that? It's not a big deal. Well, I'll deal. tell you what the problem is. I'll tell you what the problem is. It is an increasing erosion by the left in this country to take away choice when it comes to what we eat. And in Britain in 2020, we still have freedom of choice, Dunica. So if I want a Big Mac, Mac, I'm allowed a Big Mac. You want to override the lifestyle choice of 92% of people in this country. (laughs) Dan, this is over the top. I care about freedom of choice. I care about civil liberties. And you know what? I think this is a slippery slope, Dunica, where the extreme loony extinction rebellion type left are able to override the rights of meat eaters. No, what we're actually doing is saying we need to radically reduce our meat consumption. 18% of global carbon emissions come from meat. That's according to the UN. Half of UK emissions come from agriculture. If we don't do something about this, we'll end up with a runaway global warming. And we have already having... Um, fires and forest fires and heathland fires in the United Kingdom. If the Countryside Alliance are serious, and I don't believe they are, I think they're dinosaurs from the 1950s who want to turn us back to not attacking climate science and, and hunting foxes. They're a danger to Britain. Doesn't so, take long. So, Dunica, Mo, I'll, Mo, I'll, Mo I'll, let you, long. I'll, I'll let you, I'll let you respond in just a second, Mo. But can I just ask Dunica, just to be very, very clear, what do you say? to the farmers of this country who you want to put out of business? Because you don't want any farming of meat, am I correct? I I wish to have a radical reduction so the only sustainable amount of of, um, grass-grown beef is raised in this country. So it's a a luxury, not a daily uh, destructive diet. We need to switch over to a more plant-based diet, not zero, but more plant-based diet. What percentage? Well, I think if you can have meat around once a week to once every 10 days, we could actually get to a sustainable level. <laughs> once every 10 days? You're generous. To assume that we don't care about the countryside because we we don't want to join that agenda of banning meat uh, is absurd. I, I'm happy that people want to be vegan or vegetarian. That's a personal choice for them. Mm. Uh, most of them don't yes. want to tell me or you, Dan, uh, how to live our no. lives. They just get on with what they want to do. Uh, um, look, and Dunica, that's what I don't understand about the loony left these days. Because I thought you believed in in a freedom of expression and and, and lifestyle choices, and for people to be able to live in the way that they choose. Yet when it comes Dan, to me Dan. choosing to have a diet of a carnivore, you you want to ban it. I didn't say I want to ban it. I'm saying we need to radically reduce it. And I'm just saying that why should our taxpayer uh, money be used for uh, a meat source that's actually destroying the future of Britain. This is serious. We are actually in a crisis and we have to take action. And I think Ealing Council... You're and catastrophizing again. You're catastrophizing and you're trying to scare people. I'm not. 